Hey guys, BoHD here from How To and More, and I have finally got my hands on the Xperia Tablet Z. Yes, that's right, the world's thinnest 10-inch tablet, and maybe even, dare I say it, the world's sexiest tablet. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and unbox this guy by first sliding off the front half of the box, which will reveal the all-black Sony Xperia Z tablet sitting right on top. I can already tell this tablet is thin and sexy just by picking it up and taking off that plastic jacket, but before I get too carried away, I want to put this guy to the side and take a look at what's underneath where we'll find the wall adapter, micro USB cable for charging, and way too many instructions and setup guides. So if we take a look at the back of the Xperia tablet and remove the front plastic cover, you'll see a very thin device that looks very sharp and glossy. I mean just by first glance it looks like Sony carved this tablet out of a panel of glass as the edges are sharp and the front panel is very sleek and it just screams quality. And it feels surprisingly good in the hands with it being just 6.9 millimeters thin and weighing just 495 grams, it feels like I'm holding a clipboard every time I use it. But if we take a look at the outside of the Xperia Z, you'll see the power button is actually located on the left hand side of this device, right next to the volume controls and 3.5 millimeter headphones jack, and it's actually confined to a protruding metal button that is very distinct to say the least. I mean you really shouldn't have any problem pressing this button when you want to use this device since it is so distinct. But if we take a look at the bottom, you'll find the micro USB cable and SD card slot that are both protected with waterproof plastic flaps, along with the two speakers on the corners. Now the rest of the Z is actually looking pretty simple with nothing on the right hand side of this device or on top of the device. And if we flip this tab over to its back, you'll find one of the best looking tablet back covers on the market. The back seems to be coated in an almost rubbery finish that feels really nice and premium in the hands, and the Xperia text in the middle isn't too obtrusive, and actually looks really good. And while the Xperia Z does have an 8 megapixel camera on the back, it too looks nice and minimal as it sits in the upper right hand corner. Now when I first powered on and updated the Xperia Tablet Z, I was really surprised just how fast it is. The home screens are super fluid to navigate and applications open and close quickly and there's really not much lag at all which was actually really surprising to see since this quad core Snapdragon S4 Pro processor is technically considered outdated compared to the new 800 processors currently on the market. The only area of concern was the screen as it is a full HD 1080p display but my first impressions of it aren't that great as the blacks seem a little dull and whites have a faded almost yellowy tint to them. Besides that, the colors seem to be pretty accurate, but just by first glance, the screen is definitely not my favorite. So overall, I've been really wanting to get my hands on this tablet, and now that I have, I can say the best features are its build quality and looks, along with its extremely thin profile. I am generally not a design fanatic since I seem to use a lot of plastic built phones, but I am absolutely loving the build quality of the Xperia Z tablet. And so with that said, I wanna ask you guys, is build quality alone enough to buy a new product? I'm curious to see what you guys think, so let me know your thoughts in a comment down below, and your comment could be featured in my next video. And we are so close to 5,000 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed yet and want to be notified of my upcoming giveaway, feel free to click the subscribe button right here or down below this video and join my community of tech enthusiasts. But with that said, that's going to about do it for this video, guys. If you haven't checked out my last video reviewing the LG G2, you can do that right down below. Or you can check out my how-to video showing you how to get all the popular Moto X phone features on your Android device. But as always guys, I'm BoHD from How To and More. Thanks for watching.